I turned four kilograms of filament into a literal pile of rubbish. All in the attempt of making my Soho SV08 a better printer. Welcome viewers to stage one of my crazy SV08 upgrade. But before we get to that, and I'm gonna show you what I came up with to make my beloved Soho printer a better machine, Let's dig a little bit deeper into this uh, mountain of failure that I produced, shall we? Because I think there are some nice takeaways which we can learn from. Because we have, for instance, this piece, which for no better reason than I don't know why, worked out well all over the place, except for that one corner where it didn't stick to the bed very well. And then it deformed. Maybe it was a bed that was not really clean. Or the temperature difference is, for some filaments, more crucial than for others. Then we have a part like this, where due to my own stupidity in design failure, uh, I, I, I cracked it in half. Not fantastic. But now we get to the more interesting parts. There's one thing I want to show you, and I don't know where that came from. When I designed this flat surface with these stubbies on it, the printer, for some weird reason, it does not print from the vertical to the horizontal without leaving a gap, unless you add a fillet, which I did here. There's a little fillet right there. And that was a cross member in the back. But then due to the vibrations of the printer, this snapped clear off right above the fillet. So that didn't add any more stability. But it taught me that if you have something that vibrates this way, potentially, you should orient your layers in a different fashion. You should have the layers go with the vibration direction, not perpendicular to it, because then it snaps off right in between the layers. Um, which obviously with this part design doesn't work, so I had to come up with something else. I'm gonna show you later. And then we have these weird occurrences. This one I already posted on the channel, where uh, my first layer essentially turned into a set of gills. I don't know why. Printed fine here, printed fine there, and then it was all rubbish. No idea. And now let's get to the weirdest part. I would call that a layer shift. If you turn it around, you can see the second layer it printed and then it literally shifted it over by three eighths of an inch and then it sticks out on the bottom. Also, why did it print the first layer and then this little bit in the corner and then print the rest? No idea. I also don't really know where the layer shift came from. I just assumed it's because I had to put the printer on its side and the gantry moved on its own and I didn't do a new calibration before I started the print but I also thought auto home would take care of that because it's not vertical it's the horizontal direction but yeah it got really bad it got so bad that the printer literally printed past the print bed this is a uh, where the little round metal piece in the back for the set calibration fit it into. Printed the first layer just fine and then the second layer went out the back door. Whatever that was about. So yeah, if you try new filaments and if you design something from scratch, you're gonna run into certain issues. Nonetheless, the first stage of my Sovol SV08 modification turned out to be a success. Highly complicated, but still a success. Let me introduce to you the monstrosity. A spool holder on the top that feeds right down the middle and it also stabilizes the printer. It bolts into these center holes and as you can see here in the profile the parts wrap nicely around the aluminum and on the bottom they push against here or they sit against here so they prevent them from twisting. Also the whole thing is way more stable now. The spool holder it runs nicely and this is the back same deal so the entire top of the printer is now cross braced it takes about two spools of PETG and one two three four five six seven 
8 bolts from the hardware store and 4 bearings. Well, my original idea was to only use parts that are shipped with the machine from the manufacturer. So in these little rollers here, I used the two bearings that came with the original spool holder. But if you have cardboard spools like these, they are not very precise. And then they wobble around. And then due to the center bearing in the spool holder, the whole tube will tip and makes it not very smooth. So I had to bite the bullet and buy some bearings from Amazon. They are not expensive. It was like $14 for 10 of them or something like that. And then a few quarter inch carriage bolts and some quarter inch nuts. I'm planning on actually uploading the entire model on printables, but there are a few quirks I still have to work on, which I kind of jimmy rigged in this case. Like for instance, the profile of the front brace here is a little bit too tight and it will crack when you mount it to the aluminum. So I have to change that. I'm also currently sporting this retractable batch holder, but the batch holder was not my idea. I found that mentioned on the Sobol SV08 subreddit. <clears throat> and someone there, I forgot who it was, he uses, or she, uses a uh, rubber band wrapped around the top frame. That works too. The retractable batch holder works actually quite nicely to keep the umbilical cord out of the way. Specifically now, since I don't have the Bowden tube anymore, that would support the stiffness of the umbilical cord. So this is stage one of my crazy SV08 mod. It has a few issues. For instance, I currently can't use my filament runout sensor, but that thing didn't serve me well lately anyway. So I was like, what the hell, just remove it. I will come up with a solution where a filament runout sensor or a filament motion detector will be mounted. I also don't like that the controls of the printer are all on the bottom, so they need to be relocated. But that will be stage two of my crazy SVO8 mod. So stay tuned. See you next time.